Hi parents, Ms. Janassian here. Today I included two math mats into the student's homework math packet that will go home today. Um, we have a multiplication mat on each side. What you can do is take these pieces of paper out of the math packet, put it into a protective sleeve. You can get like at a dollar store or Target and use dry erase marker to repeatedly use it over and over again. So if a student was trying to solve three times four, there's different ways they could get to the answer. Equal groups, array, repeated addition. Um, this right here is a typo. Please cross it off when you get it. And skip counting. Um, so one way you could do it with equal groups is by drawing the groups. Our first factor tells us how many groups to draw. So there's three groups. Our second factor tells us what goes inside each group. So four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To find the product, the answer, we count up all of our marks in our groups. So there's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer is 12. Another way they could do it is by making an array. Um, our first factor tells us how many rows to create. So in an array, you need rows and columns. So you'd have 1, 2, 3 rows. And each row would contain 4 objects. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. When they count up all of the objects, they would see it also equals 12. So rows and columns, um, equal groups, they all have equal amounts in each row or in each group. They can also count up the columns in an array, one, two, three, four, and notice that four and three are the factors we're multiplying to find the total. In repeated addition, students can choose either three or four and repeatedly add them up until they reach 12. So I know I have to do three groups of four, so I can do repeated addition using four. So four plus four equals eight. And I only used two fours so far, so I need one more four. I'm gonna add another four, and that equals 12. So I would count how many fours I used, one, two, three fours. So I did three fours and I added them up to get to 12. You could also do four plus four plus four equals 12, or you can even write them in the standard algorithm and find the answer. Another way we do it is by skip counting. So you would count up three fours. So I know I'm gonna count three, one, two, three. And I'm going to count by fours, so it's four. The next four, I add up four more, is eight. The next four would be 12. And I counted three fours, so the answer is 12. Another strategy we use is the dice strategy. Um, whatever you're going to multiply. So let's say we're going to do three times four. Um, we would pick how many multiples we're going to count of four. So we're going to do multiples of four. You could also do three, either way it's gonna work. So I would draw four as like what a dice would look like. So one, two, three, four. And I know I'm gonna count three of them. So one, two, three, I'm gonna go all the way to this box. So I'm gonna count by fours. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I got to my third four, and I know my answer is 12. The dice strategy helps kids count on when they're not really good at fluently counting or skip counting yet. Hope you enjoy trying these out with your students.